Happy Thursday, YouTube. Well, it's a happy Thursday for somebody, but the folks up ahead of me definitely are not having a good day. There's a wreck site coming up here in southern Kentucky. I can't quite see it from where I'm at, but I'm just crawling along here trying to save my drive time for the day along with just about everybody else because we're going to neck down to about one lane here coming up as far as I can tell. At least according to what's been happening on the CB when um, information can get through clearly. But the CB, that is what I'm going to be yammering on about today with this video. And it seems to me that there's only three types of people who still use the old Citizens Band radio that used to be a crucial component of any over the road truck. Nowadays it's essentially a relic of a bygone era, but they're still pretty useful, so that's why I still have a good old Cobra unit here in my truck. And the three folks that seem to still use the CB, I'll go, uh, shall we say, in um, reverse order of people you want to talk to. Number one, we got the preachers. Yes, sir, Bob, we got the preachers on the CB radio. Just filling the airwaves with whatever in the world it is they want to preach about. Some of them, legitimately, I have heard, were just reading the Bible as they were driving. Just going right down the scriptures, whether it was the New Testament, Old Testament, they were just reading the Bible. Which, okay, great, if you want to read the Bible, Wonderful. There is a time and a place for that. When you're driving down the interstate at highway speeds and clogging up the channel 19 with your rendition, your performance even, of the gospel according to Mark, that is not the time. Because channel 19 is not just for you to use as a pulpit. That is for everyone, not just you. Be nice share the airwaves. Person number two that seems to use the airwaves the most, those are the folks who wear tinfoil hats or just have an axe to grind against the political powers that be. And there's a lot of those folks and once they get going they just do not shut up. Whether they're ranting about Trump or Biden or whichever politician is from their home state that they want to grind an axe about, or Democrats this, Republicans that, conservatives this, liberals that, or conspiracy this, conspiracy that, it's just, it's just a vomiting of crap into the airwaves that the vast majority of us legitimately, we don't Care. We don't care, we don't care, we do not care. Because we don't have time to care. We have things to do. We have businesses to run. We've got loads to take care of. We've got freight to move. We've got money to make. We've got people to talk to about making sure the money is getting paid out properly. We have more important things to do than to listen to someone spewing about climate change conspiracy theories on Channel 19 because they're so bleedingly lonely in their personal life that they have to just be heard by everybody when really the rest of us would like nothing better than to take them and shove them in a hole somewhere and leave them because they're not doing anything of note or use on the CB radio. Now, person number one of the three, what seems to be these days the least common, or shall we say the most common depending on the situation, the person who uses the CB radio, I would say, of those three people, probably the least, it is the folks who legitimately are looking for information on the road ahead, as is the case with this accident scene up ahead of me. I've been on the CB trying to figure out, okay, what's the mile marker? What's the lane closure? What's the situation? Are we jumping off the interstate for a bypass situation? Or are we staying on? Well, we got to ride the shoulder. What's going on? But of course, because of the way things are, we got the preachers and the conspiracy theorists out there screwing up the airwaves. Information is just not getting through. Uh, also, possibly because you know my antennas may not be good enough. I'm not actually grabbing um, 
the signals I need to really, you know, be able to assimilate the information and understand what's happening up ahead of me. I've got a vague idea of what's going down, but not a, a clear picture, which is unfortunate. That's just the way it is. But, you know, that's person number one. People who actually want to get an idea of what's happening on the road ahead, and also in that same group are people who actually are in a, a quote-unquote, a convoy, you know, throw back to a bygone era. You got two, three, four trucks in a row. They all get on a channel and say, hey, you know, we're all running together for a while here. Let's go ahead and hop over to channel 12 or channel 23 or whatever. And just, you know, we'll keep to ourselves, we'll keep the airwaves clear. We'll just have a nice conversation while we're rolling. Good times. I've had that happen to me only once in my career so far where I was in a line. It was me and uh, two other drivers. Had a wonderful conversation for about, oh, an hour and a half on uh, the 8090 Turnpike. Um, in Indiana one day, about uh, just about two years ago, I think it was. A little over two years ago, maybe. Um, had a good time, good conversation, uh, real nice drivers. You know, we just chewed the fat, swapped some stories. Uh, but we didn't get political, we didn't get preachy. We just had a nice conversation. But that's the person who uses the CB the least nowadays because, number one, the CB is a dying element of modern trucking and it's dying a very slow very painful death because it still has a use so the units are still sold but it's being grossly abused by the other two folks who use it the preachers and the conspiracy theorists they're the ones who just keep screwing up the airwaves and keep the rest of us off the airwaves because we don't want to hear them you know, just spewing crap into the airwaves. Like, I don't want to listen to someone reading the book of Mark. I'll read that on my own time. i got a Bible in my back drawer there. I'll, when I want to get the gospel out and read it, I'll read it myself. Thank you very much. When I want to look up conspiracy theories, well, it's on social media anyway. I'll just, you know, wait till it comes across my feet and look at the stupidity of whoever grinded about, oh, so-and-so is doing this and that's why they're all trying to kill us. It's like, shut up. Shut up. But yeah, that is the modern CB radio, at least according to this trucker's opinion. And with that being said, YouTube, I do believe the wreck side is in sight, so I best keep my eyes on the road here, even though I'm doing an almighty four miles an hour on this stretch of concrete and asphalt. And I'll leave it there for the time being. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you down the road.